Hello everyone. Another little update today. We uh, kind of finished up sawing the logs we had, so we decided to start cutting a new driveway in because we want to get rid of the driveway right in front of the cabin anyway. And we want a new driveway for the uh, for the other guys to get back to their cabin. So we're in the process of cutting a new driveway from the road in. We kind of started right here because we had our little little trail here that would come back, which this will eventually be my driveway. Coming in, I'll turn off of the the one here in front of me, and uh, we started <clears throat> started up through here. And of course, you can see what it looked like. You know, the place is, is full of stumps and stuff, and, and a lot of down timber. The uh, this little part right here that we're standing in now, the uh, sockeye forest fire burned all this. That's why you see so many trees like that. So many trees down. The uh, this organic soil here has a real thick like moss layer on top. These are shallow rooted trees. It burns a lot of that moss off, exposes a lot of the roots, and then of course fire kills the trees, but you know, then it was burnt down around the roots and then the trees fall over. And uh, so we were quite surprised what the little tractor was doing. We had to cut a little bit of wood too. impressed with what the tractor has done. I didn't think it would do any of these, getting these stumps out of here. I thought we would have to rent an excavator. As you can see, there's all kinds of trees that's been toppled over. And, uh, so, the little tractor seems to be doing pretty good. Carries on the wheel. The ground still throws quite a bit. It's actually surprising how much how frozen the ground actually is still. Definitely not in our driveway for sure, but this out here where the snow is just reasonably recently melted all the other days. Interesting thing when it talks about uh, when I talk about snow depth, um, there's still still some patches of snow out here. But I was going to show you where Tyler hung up a bird feeder for Jenny, and uh, of course that was when the snow was on. And uh, oh gosh, dang it! Liam just slapped me in the face. So this little tree here. The bird feeder hanging up on it, and uh, you can kind of see. I don't know if you can see that. There's that one, the screw that it's hanging from, and there's a screw above that. Um, that's got to be, I don't know, 10 feet in the air. And uh, those are put in with no ladder, that was just standing on the snow, so gives you an idea how high the snow is. It was um, when you look at it there's a chair sitting there sitting there below it and that's up the tree to the feeder next screw up from that 
and then another screw up from that and that was done standing on top of the snow so it's really it's really wild to think about the depth of snow here definitely not used to seeing that much snow where we came from <laughs> so I'm definitely not used to seeing this type of dirt and soil that there is that there is here it's um i don't know it's really organic and uh, um it's just definitely not dirt like we have at home here. It's obviously a, a big moss layer. And, uh, and then of course that's probably died and decomposed and more, more has grown. You can just see all these stumps just turned over here where, uh, where the wind blew them down after the fire. You can see all the uh, red on these trees. That's um, that's that fire retardant as you see dumping them out of airplanes when you see them fly over a forest fire and you see the big red plume of water I always thought they'd just been dying I mean, it's actually a fire retardant that they put in it and that's been on there for I think that fire was about six years ago we'll probably let most of that out there just throw back up in uh, willows and birch um, because fire areas like this that regrow in uh, a lot of birch and willow is really good uh, moose habitat in the winter time because that's what they have to eat so we're, uh, we kind of like seeing moose run around the house in the winter time it's pretty cool, pretty cool so, uh, So we still got to finish it on up to the road there but that's uh we just wanted to come back through here first and see if we could actually get any of these stumps out of here before we actually started trying to cut it in from the road because it's a little bit of a hill there by the road we got to go over to that we got to cut down so we might not be able to get that cut down to the ground It's cool to see progress. Get that little like button down there and maybe subscribe to the channel if you would. Thanks for watching.